Just li just listen. Okay. Just um, listen and be patient. You yeah, just listen. We're really not that complicated. We just have to ask. Like if you ask us what we want, we'll usually tell you. So then like we don't want you to do things all the time. It's just you got to ask us. Right. Okay. Um and if there was one thing you wish women understood better about men, what would that be? They don't read minds. Like men are not really good with visual cues or overall facial expression, so you kind of have to speak up. We want things and we're not going to tell you what we want. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> because for the sake of being complicated. <laughs> <laughs> why though? I mean, why not use your words and just say what you want? I well, mean, sometimes why? we do, but then like we want oh. you to guess. It's well, what, a game. Just like why do you guys like the chase? Well, do you think guys do like the chase? Absolutely. Well, I mean, if guys if guys found it frustrating, you know, would, would women would it, find it frustrating? <laughs> well, I'm just saying, what's what's the benefit in in asking someone? I mean, a lot of women expect guys to kind of be mind readers. Yes. Don't you think it would be it'd make things a lot easier for everybody? Oh my gosh, like, yeah, one hundred percent. But I mean, love isn't easy. Cause once you listen, I know we're a lot to handle. But if you listen to us, then everything will be fine. You know, if women have the capability of just saying what they want, why, why make it harder than it needs to be? Because I think in some cases we like the complication, but for what reason I mean, though? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Okay. Uh, let's see. If uh, hmm. if there was one thing that you wish that you think women should understand better about men, what would that be? Um, I'm not sure. Actually, my my husband's just very vocal, and whatever he needs. Like I think we're. Just I mean, on that I mean, same. if 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 guys kind of did the same thing that women did, and they didn't really, you know, say how they felt or what they needed, wouldn't you find that frustrating? Yeah, I'm, so, I'm not denying it. Well, right, but I mean, <laughs> then why wouldn't you know? Then then in other words, saying if you wouldn't want it done to you, why would you do it to a man? Because in my case, I'm I'm a hypocrite, oh. but I'm working on it. But I mean, I think it definitely depends on the individual. What are the characteristics of a gentleman? Where Chivalry. do I begin? Mm -hmm. Chivalry, okay. Um, Manners. Okay. Communication, understanding, loyalty. Supportive. Strong hands, sexy, sexy. What would you call, what would you call the female equivalent of a gentleman? Mm, oh, I'm, uh, that word is on the tip, tip of my tongue. Um, alpha female, I guess. Okay. Is that the word? Okay. Um, typically, what I'm what I'm thinking. I mean, what do we usually say? We usually say blank and gentleman, right? What do we say? Perfect. You, we usually say blank and gentleman. Like when we're in a when we're in like an auditorium or at a show, we say blank and gentleman. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies, right? Like a lady, right? What are the characteristics of a lady? Um, Class. Humble, classy. Respectable. Um, Smart, charming, poised. Would you say it's kind of the same, the same qualities as what makes a gentleman? Yes. Okay. Do you think it's fair for a woman who doesn't act like a lady to expect a man to be a gentleman? It's not fair, but I can understand the. What, what do you mean? That's that's very interesting. What, what do you what do you mean specifically? Um, I don't know how to put it in words. Was you gonna say something? I don't know how to put it in words, but um. Well, I'm not sure what you're what you, think, what you mean. Um, like what? I'm more so. I think it's like a matched energy. So like you get what you put out. So if you expect somebody to treat you like a lady, you should act like one. Can you define chivalry? Chivalry. Oh, that's when a man is like being really nice, like as such as a man's holding the door open for a lady, or taking her out to dinner, paying for the bill, as as such things like as such. Do you think that chivalry is a female privilege? I think women expect it, so maybe. I, I don't think it should be, but yeah, I think a lot of women expect some level of chivalry, and if they don't get it, they get a little offended. One thing that I don't understand about women is why they feel so entitled. Um, why they feel like they deserve uh, 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 
uh, men to treat them a certain way. And if men don't treat them a certain way, then you're less of a man. <laughs> Regarding chivalry, right? Yeah. Do you think a man should sooner give up his seat on a bus for a young woman or an elderly man with a cane? An elderly man with a cane. For sure. So then, isn't chivalry more about just having good manners than specifically respecting women? Definitely. I think it's definitely more about the manners versus just the women aspect to it. Like, I think just overall just having that ability to, regardless if it's a woman or a child or an elderly person, you should be able to know what's best to do, not just because they're the opposite sex or you're attracted to them. Okay, so it's more about just having good manners in general. Definitely. Um, okay, you know, I mean, some, some women find chivalry to be patronizing. They do, And yes. my point is, is can you really get mad at somebody for that if that's how you were raised? Because that's not really harmful behavior. I mean, if somebody's trying to be chivalrous, isn't that, isn't that them trying to have good manners? People take it differently. Me, personally, I don't see it as a bad thing, but... But a lot of people do. What do you yeah. think about the people who think it's a bad thing? They have the right to their own opinion, so I can't judge them for that. Like, if they don't like it, then they don't like it. You can't. Judge. If everyone has the right to their own opinion, why yes. does why do people get offended about stuff? Because, because of just that. Like, we have the right to get offended about other, what other people do, but you can't really do anything. Well, about what's the point of getting offended if everyone has the right to their own opinion? You what purpose does it serve? It doesn't. It helps you personally on like an individual level. That's what it serves. It doesn't serve a societal thing. Okay. You get offended, you have the right to be offended, just like the person has the right to express their opinion. Do you have to agree with them? No, you can walk away if you don't do, like do it. Do you think that being offended is natural or learned behavior? I, it's a, I, I think, I would go with a natural defense. Right, but I mean, don't people get offended based on- What you on, get offended to though is learned. But what do you get, okay, what you get, okay, that's the difference. What you get offended by, is that natural or learned behavior? That's learned thing. Right. So my point is, is if people, you know, if people get offended by things and they realize it's learned behavior, once again, what's the point of getting offended? I mean, it's it, in a di if you were raised in a different culture, what you get offended by might... Changes. Kinda, you know, what's that? It changes. Do you think it's easier for a man to seduce a woman or for a woman to seduce a man? Both. I don't know. It depends on the um, person. I would say both too, but men are like little puppies, so I would say... I women think, can seduce men easier. I think a like, woman can seduce men easier too because we're um, more sexual, so we'll turn a man on before they turn us on. For me, that's how it works. Like I would have to turn that man, like turn him on. If it's easier for a woman to seduce a man, does that make it easier for women to cheat? It's easier for uh, women to cheat because we lie better. <laughs> we're we're more we calculated. Oh, okay. We're we, more we calculated. Smarter. Right. right. What percentage of our economy do you think is driven by men buying things to please and impress women? Ooh, 99.9. <laughs> I feel like the, the little 1% that's not for women is just for us to survive. That other 99.9%, .9 all of this, I was just telling my best friend, all of this that what you see, all, this is all women. This is all bullshit. We, men, if it was just us on this planet, None of this shit would be, we don't give a fuck about none of it, okay? This is all to, for like, for glitz and glamour. Why is it so pretty and everything to, to attract women? They like this shit, okay? We don't care. We just want to survive. They want the whole everything else. Why is the shopping industry 90% women that only shop? Like, we don't care. When you go to the mall, if you go to the mall with your girl, you're spending about three hours. Us, it's 10 minutes because we already know we're going to get what, like, it's survival for us. It's an event for them. <laughs> Why is it considered rude to ask a woman her age or her weight? I don't know. <laughs> like, that is a question that I truthfully don't know. Because I think men are just as sensitive when it comes to weight and age, depending. Okay, know, and, and, and finally, and finally, if a woman can be considered beautiful at any size, why yes. is there virtually no demand for plus size male models? Oh, I have not thought of that. And you have a point. There is no demand. Yeah, I don't know. Um, why does nobody complain about a gender pay gap when female models earn more money than male models? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> I would think, uh, because I guess it's come back to the sexual objectification. Like the fact that more people are going to look at women than people are going to look at men. 
just even as much as more women are attracted to more, to women more than men are attracted to men. The fact that ladies' nights exist, doesn't that prove that if you control the women, you also control the men? I wouldn't really say that. <clears throat> I don't, I don't, I feel like <clears throat> ladies' nights, women get everything for free anyway. <clears throat> so, yeah, you do control the men. You control the men. Yes, you do. Because, because guys, without the women, there would be no ladies' nights. Right. Like, why is weddings and also Valentine's Day more about pleasing the woman than celebrating the couple? Oh, for sure. I got a box of chocolates and I had to spend about $1,000 on jewelry, bears, and flowers. And, other, and I got me a Twix bar <laughs> and uh, my favorite uh, beverage. Okay, so can we agree that most consumer spending is geared towards women? Oh, most definitely. Like I said, over 90%. 90% okay. of, uh, of the whole consumer industry is women. Truly. Okay. Can we also agree that the media pushes a campaign of fear and consumption by exploiting men's need for female validation? For sure. Um, I feel they play into that. Uh, why wouldn't you? If I was a business and I wanted to make money, um, who's going to buy it? Who's going to come and purchase um, things from me, like whatever my product or service may be? Nine times out of ten, that's going to be women. So how am I going to manipulate or persuade somebody to come and get that? Let's play to their uh, fears. Let's play to their uh, uh, um, insecurities. And, and, and nine times out of ten, when it comes to men, it's going to be women. <laughs> um, have you ever heard the expression "sex sells"? Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, do you think it would be? Do you think it would be possible for the media to sell sex if women were not sexually objectified? Hmm. I think that it would still sell because who are our biggest consumers? Women. It's to a point now where women objectify them, they, they do it to themselves and they consume it themselves. But when women objectify themselves, wouldn't that be called empowering? <laughs> it's empowering when they objectify themselves, but it's objectification when someone else does it to them. I it's mean, all that, about perception, man. It's all about perception. It's all about perception. So it's how, it's how. It's how you perceive okay. it versus okay. how the next one does. Okay. If men didn't sexually objectify women, how would strippers exist? How would the porn industry exist? How would uh, lingerie, you know what I mean, lingerie models make, make a living, right? <laughs> they wouldn't. <laughs> right. So doesn't, uh, would you say that uh, sexual objectification drives the economy? Yeah, it definitely does. It makes, it, it makes everything go round. Like that's what literally makes half of the lingerie stores, that's what Victoria's Secret, that's how clubs make money, that's how a lot of businesses actually are ran through the objectified. Do you women. think it's fair for women to complain about being sexually objectified when so many women make their careers off of using their looks and sexuality? No. <laughs> okay, so why is there so much uh, talk about the exploitation of women, but we never talk about this exploitation of men? I feel like the stigma towards men isn't highlighted as much, while the stigma towards women is. So women are kind of constantly faced with that and they're willing to like fight back. Men on the other hand aren't quite as vocal about it. So they're kind of pushed to the side and be like, well, that doesn't really matter at the time. Do you think that maybe men aren't as vocal about it because a lot of times when they speak up, they either are seen as weak or whining or they hate women, they're misogynists, if they kind of speak up about stuff? I don't know about the last part of misogyny and hating women, but I think the weak and the whiny for sure. Well, I'm saying if men are critical of women in any way, a lot of times they're automatically seen as, as hating women, right? Is that true? I don't, I personally don't see it that way, but I think again, it depends on what it is they're criticizing and why they're criticizing it. I feel like we don't have a platform for it. There's just nobody to talk about it. No one is, actually voicing that aspect of it and if they are it's falling on deaf ears there's no platform there's no audience um when you talk like this it's, it's, it's men that'll rise up and, and they will agree but when you win, living in a women driven society that is nobody wants to hear this <laughs> right, but, but the women don't want to hear it especially and if i own a business and i'm trying to sell to women i definitely don't want to promote that but why do you think we why do you think we live in a in a women driven society when when women are oppressed and men are privileged right yeah 
No. <laughs> okay. it, it, it just it's, it seems that way, and that's what. But I feel like the tables have turned a long time ago. <laughs> um, and uh, finally, uh, uh, wrapping that part up, why is there so much talk about a gender pay gap, but we never talk about a gender spend gap? Woo. Ah, ah, yeah. I don't, I don't even think it's a gender gap anymore. Um, I feel women, like you know, they, they're really in the in the market industry. You go to any business, and, and most of the businesses that I see, that I go to, it's more women employees than anything. I I, I just don't. That statistic, it, it does. I don't believe it. I, I don't believe it. And um, I know for sure that they're spending more because. I've been in a relationship, man. Any any time I'm ever in it, like my money is is our money and her money is hers. <laughs> How do you know if someone's being authentic or or if they're... you could just tell by the situation you're in, the body language, the energy. You have to be there to see. It's really not. You really can't explain it. But is your but is your gut? Would you say that your gut instinct is always spot on? Yes. Always. Yes. No. She says no. So what? No, she your... thinks half the men in the world are gay, and I don't think so. So I don't think no. it's her gut feeling. No. <laughs> so, so just real quick for for you, right? Um, just how do you know if somebody's being authentic and telling what you want to hear, or if they actually, you um, know, are genuine? Like, what what are your? I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I can't really tell because you know, like relationships, you fall for somebody and they're not really what you thought they are, what what you thought they were. So, I mean. Sometimes it's a gut feeling. Sometimes it's you, just how they approach you and their demeanor, like she said. So. Okay. So, so I mean, just like, just in your own experience, I mean, do you feel like you're getting better at trusting your gut? Yeah, or? because I'm getting older. So yeah, okay. and I don't settle for as much as I used to. So yeah. And, and then as far as the the gender pay gap, do you think that the gender pay gap? Do you think that's real? Uh, the gender pay gap, I don't. Yes, I I, I don't think it. I don't think it's real. I think that women have now with all of the equal rights movements and feminism, they're getting, they're getting their due. They're getting their due. If they want it, they're getting their due. And even if they don't, with the alimony, child support, and we live in a women-catered uh, uh, judicial system as well, so, no, I don't. I don't believe well, it. No more. I mean, I mean, I, I, there are some people who are very skeptical. They they believe that the gender pay gap is a myth. And so what I ask people is, I say, um, first off, it's illegal to do that. Um, it's illegal to discriminate pay based on gender. And my question is, you know, can you name a single job that you know has a different pay scale for women than it does for men? I haven't seen it. I haven't witnessed that. Not 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 personally. Right. Not me. I was gonna say, you know, if 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 a company could legally get away with paying women less than a man why would any company hire a man they would all be it would be nothing but women employees like why would i ever why well, would need to like for like everybody wants the best of what they can get so it's just that's business that's life that's survival so if i know that i'm going to save money by doing this i'm going to do it mm -hmm. plus it's, it's illegal to do that i mean if you could prove that there'd be class action lawsuits happening every single day and with all those feminist acts you don't think that somebody would have been spoke up yeah <laughs> exactly